All right, so I have been going crazy over Gemini 3. This has just been phenomenal. I have been using Claude and exclusively Claude for pretty much all year. This is the first time I've been using something that I'm actually thinking can in many ways replace Claude. I'm gonna be giving it a little bit more shot and that just might happen. My current workflow is basically building in Gemini, getting a nice UI, downloading it, bringing it into Claude code to make it work. And then I'm bringing it into Vercel to serve it on the internet. But anyways, what I wanna do here is see in 10 minutes what can I build? I want to try to build an AI chat app, just like kind of like a chat GPT clone. It's going to use Gemini in the back end. I want to see if I can do that and how good it's going to look in 10 minutes. Now, if you're watching this video, it's going to be a lot shorter than 10 minutes because 10 minutes is my clock. So anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. First thing I need to do is write my prompt. All right, there we go. So my very well thought out prompt, can you build me an AI chat app similar to ChatGPT, Gemini, or Claude with conversations saved in a sidebar, streaming, etc.? All the fun stuff. So let's go ahead and hit build and we're gonna see what it's gonna do. It has been killing one shots for me. Like every single time I say, can you do this? I built a homepage for a little personal project I'm working on yesterday. Beautiful. I saw a guy's tweet showing this like site that he made for a fake shoe brand. He said he did it with one prompt. I thought he was lying. I used the same prompt and I saw this tweet and honestly, I just kind of thought he was lying. So I went to Google AI studio and I used whatever part of that prompt I could see. Create a premium landing page for a modern shoe brand. The entire site should feel bold. And this is what we got. I mean, this is sick. He was not lying because it was absolutely beautiful. Gemini is insane. Like if you're watching this video, hopefully you've used it. If you're watching this video and you haven't used it, close this video, go use it, and then watch it because why not? Okay, so there we go. It took 118 seconds and this is what we're left with. There's like a couple little weird things in the UI, like this is too high up, I feel like. Um, button spacing around it is a little bit weird, but like, okay, it, does it work? That's the question, explain quantum compute. I don't even know what quantum computing is, guys. I'm not that smart. Okay, so is it gonna explain quantum computing to me? Eh, it's explaining quantum computing to me, guys. No way, eh. And it saved the chat. What if I refresh, does it go away? like saved in local storage kind of thing. Okay, it went away, so I would need to do some sort of storage in it, right? Okay, so one thing I wanna do is I wanna see how aware it is of the UI. So I'm gonna be like, there's some kind of weird issues around with the UI. Actually, it also has this like annotate thing. So I'm gonna add arrows and say like, there's some weird is issues with spacing inconsistencies throughout the app. Uh, so could you go ahead and fix those? And then along with that, I wanna say it's not rendering March deck, Mark my, Mark down as rich text. So let's do that and see if it can fix it. All right, so it did something. It, it didn't fix these spacing inconsistencies. I know if I was a bit more deliberate with my explanation, it would have done it. I wanted to see if it could just figure it out. Nope, can't, failed the test. All right, so anyways, another thing that I asked it to do is make sure that the markdown renders as rich text. First of all, I just wanna say this whole UI is amazing. I can switch between 2.5 Flash and Gemini 3. Oh yeah, okay. Look at that, I'm making like T3 chat over here in eight minutes and 30 seconds. We have a minute and a half left. Now, one thing I wanna say, I'm like making up rules on the fly here is the prompt has to be given, like the final prompt can be given if it's like nine minutes and 50 seconds and then we can wait. But I cannot do any prompts after 10 minutes has passed. It is rendering code. Oh, dude. You know, I've actually had to work with this quite a few times, like trying to have it like render streamed markdown as rich text. And I've never, never, never been able to get it looking this good. Not to mention with one individual prompt. Okay, so I got one more thing to say to it is add a light mode toggle, add a light mode toggle. I hope it can do that quick and I can get one more prompt in. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, probably not because we're already at like nine minutes and 18 seconds. Maybe if I write it now, there's a chance that I'm gonna be able to do it. Okay, so new chat, that just starts a new one. Um, what does this do down here? Okay, okay. I don't even know what else to, it did what I want. I know I'm not gonna add like auth and, and you know, all that stuff in 10 minutes. I'm not crazy, but like, well, actually if it had the member stack MCP, I would be able to add auth in 10 minutes, but you can't add MCPs in Google AI Studio, which is very annoying. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get another prompt in. 
Well, if it adds a light mode toggle and it actually works properly, then I am gonna be thrilled with that. I did not think I could do this in 10 minutes. I absolutely did not think I could do this in 10 minutes, but I did it. Like now, what I would honestly, what I would probably do is I would just download this and then bring it into Claude code and then add auth in a database with member stack. Um, that doesn't fit in our 10 minutes, so. All right, we got our light mode. In my opinion, this looks so much better. The shadow under this input is like way too intense for my liking. Uh, I can switch between light mode and dark mode. It's a bit of a weird flash, but like, dude, 10 minutes, this is what we got. Let's go ahead and say, make me a creative story about a robot. We actually made like an AI chat with one prompt that worked and then two more prompts to refine it and get it to this point. Again, now I can just bring this into Claude code and add off, add whatever I wanna add. This is amazing, look at that. It's making me a story about a robot. It's a very, very long story, geez. Okay, well, I said make a creative story. Guys, look at this. Okay, in 10 minutes, I made a friggin' AI chat with streaming that can explain quantum computing to me. Look how good this looks. This is amazing. I can switch between Gemini 2.5 Flash and Gemini 3 Pro. It has new chats. I can delete chats. I can add chats. It has literally everything. The only thing left to do would be to add somewhere that people can log in, somewhere that people can pay, and somewhere that people can store their data. So I would definitely just be adding member stack to this and then I could launch it. Now, this in its form, I mean, hey, what's your USP? Like, what are you doing that's better than someone just downloading and using Gemini on their own? Nothing. I wouldn't recommend launching that as a business, but come up with your USP, whatever it may be. There's a whole bunch of different AI chats out there. Like there are a lot, but let's just say the market is not full. There are, there is room for more and it's this easy to do. So if you have a good idea and you know what you want, believe me when I say you can use this and with just a few prompts, get an actual business up and running. All you need to have is a good idea. So that's it for this video. I'm shocked. There's gonna be a lot more Gemini 3 content coming out because nothing else that I've ever seen has been able to do this, let alone with this level of detail. Wow, okay, I don't know what else to say. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you're using Gemini 3 and I'll talk to you soon.